Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with another Fortnite video. And earlier today I was browsing on YouTube and I saw a video from a pretty good YouTuber that I like to watch all the time for Fortnite Save the World updates and stuff like that. His name is Split Screen. And this video kind of caught my attention because it was labeled a message a message to all scammers or a message to scammers, something like that. And I was it kind of took me off guard because he usually doesn't do that kind of stuff so I figured I'd watch it and in my opinion it was one of the best Fortnite Save the World videos out there to this day it's absolutely great and it's everything that I've been trying to say for the longest time I've actually been working on a few videos lately and they're just showing like if I was new to save the world if this was my first day and I were to hop in and play games what would my experience be and that's kind of what I'm gonna be showing you guys today I'm gonna be showing you guys the first five games that I hopped into of the day this took about two hours to do all these uh, matches record all this content so just take that into mind if you were to go to work for eight or ten hours a day you were to wake up and have stuff to do this takes two hours out of your time so if you only play for an hour or an hour and a half this is way longer than you would have been playing and this is way many more matches than you would have experienced for your first time so after every single clip that plays I'm just gonna show you just what I think is wrong with it or just point out some things that I see that could have been better and could improve my experience for it being my first time playing. So again, I hope you guys do enjoy, and yeah, that's about it. Okay guys, for this clip here, it's pretty self-explanatory. So as you can see from the first clip, there was more than one wave that everybody in the lobby was involved in. All three other people other than me were in the lobby for more than one wave. As you can see in the second wave or in the second clip, I'm staring at one person who has been AFK the majority of the time, and as you see in the third clip, he did zero combat, zero building, and zero farming or crafting or anything like that. So to me as a new player, I would see that you just stand away from everything and farm if you can rather than actually doing effort because doing effort wastes ammo and why would you want to waste ammo when everybody else does it for you? Hello? Do you want to trade? I got a grave, baby. Why not there? Yeah. Alright guys, so in this clip here, what happened was the guy spawned into the storm shield to help out and as soon as he did, he asked the guy with the annoyingly loud mic 
to trade with him. Of course, knowing people in Stonewood, he said, sure, why not? And they went ahead and traded for all five waves of the Storm Shield. As you can see, nothing really got done. My turrets and my bears had to do the majority of the work most of the time. They were trying to help out a little bit here and there, but for the most part, they were just focused on trading, and they could really care less if they finished the Storm Shield. As you can see later on, they obviously did not finish the Storm Shield. There was huge holes in the storm shields in many different spots and they were just completely unaware because they were too busy trading and it was just all about the trading. Hey, trade me this grave digger. It's a 130. It's a 130. But you didn't get the mission done and you didn't get V-Bucks. So did you really complete anything? I don't think so, but you guys let me know down below. Um, so that's kind of what I see for this one is you go into a mission and right away you ask to trade. Missions are for trading. They're not for getting the rewards because the rewards are not worth it. The trading for weapons in 130s and Stonewood is way more worth it than completing your Storm Shields. Completing your Storm Shields won't give you 130s is what I'm trying to say. So to me being a new player, that's what I would do is I would trade for the better weapons because that's that's what everybody else is doing nobody does storm shields no one wants to help with a storm shield because if you have power level 130 guns you don't need to get to twine peaks you don't need to do your storm shields if you have those weapons right that, oh yes i am oh my god is that an encampment yes that is an encampment run Dude, I've been on a lucky streak. I've been trying to sell the Yeah, but I'd rather get this stuff than this. Like, you're lucky. Oh, oh, wait, he's actually taking me to Candy. Oh my god. Dude, I wasn't expecting you to. Okay, yeah, I'll for real. I'll actually go to Candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright guys, so with this one, like I was saying before, it's more important to farm and to get resources in game that you can keep after the game is ended rather than completing the mission there's no point in doing encampment missions because encampments themselves don't give you better rewards so there's absolutely no point in doing the mission it's better to just go into caves and just to farm because it gives you better rewards right well at least that's what i'm being told now i do know that this kid here that was playing was on one of his friends accounts and his friend actually did tell him hey it's an encampment mission you have to do encampments to complete the mission and his friend that was playing the game actually said no the rewards that you get for doing this the mimic is better so that's why i'm going to do this so to me and to new players, hearing that in-game, as soon as you spawn into a mission, people saying, hey, no, don't do that. Don't do the mission. Come over to me and come over to what I'm doing and help me do this. Help me do my storm chest and help me kill this mimic or uh, help me find chest and stuff. Rather than, oh, can you help me do the encampment, what the mission is actually for. So to me this is showing me as a new player if this was my first day playing that you should not do the mission it does not give you good rewards the best way to get good rewards is to go into missions let other people do the mission for you while you farm for the better rewards so you get your rewards and the people who do the mission get you the mission rewards afterwards right so you can go off and farm and get all your ore and your rock your metal all that stuff everything that you need and everybody else in the game is going to do your hard work for you they're going to carry you through the game because that's the way that the game's meant to be played and if anything says if anybody says anything about it just call them a crybaby and and just tell them that they're crying about it and that they should just shut up or you know something along those lines don't listen to what they're saying and, and be like oh well maybe we should play the objective since it says right on the right side of the screen destroy the encampments but you know that's not what I'm being told so I'm gonna go by what I'm being told in this video in game from people um, as if I was a new player so if I was a new player this is what people would be telling me and yeah that's it for this one on to the next one
Alright guys, and for this clip here, I'm going to be showing you what they show new players to do or what the community shows new players to do when it comes to Storm Shields. So when it's time to do your Storm Shield and when you have to defend your Storm Shield, what you're going to want to do or what they are showing me to do as a new player in the game is to immediately start up the Storm Shield and request for help, but don't do the mission. Continue to build after help has gotten there if help does not get there you end the game you restart until help gets there or you ask in global chat and spam over and over for help for weapons and then not give them to them afterwards right that goes hand in hand with the whole scamming thing so you could scam people for storm shield defense help if you can't find anybody but point is is once you find somebody you let them do all the combat while you sit at your base inside and you build all the extra stuff that you forgot in the first place right so that's what you're supposed to do when it comes to storm shields oh and I almost forgot if it's not your storm shield you immediately have to go in there and ask the highest level to help you out with your missions or to give you stuff or to carry you or to drop you off into higher levels that's what you have to do in order to uh, complete storm shields and stuff as soon as you spawn into somebody's storm shield you immediately ask them for stuff or you ask them to help you with your game or ask them to drop you off and you uh, expect that you know what I mean you don't expect no as an answer if they say no then you you have the right to be salty because you know what I mean they're expected to help you they're a higher level so that's just how it is so yeah I forgot to add that Yo. Hey, do you want Yo. to trade me? Sure. Like, my 34 and my other 34 and then my 58. My 58. Uh, mm, I'm good. I only have 130s. I only have 130s and 106s. I don't have uh, anything. Yeah, why? 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 Yes. Hold up. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to. I... A 130 typewriter. 130. Him. The guy. Thanks for ruining the game for others. If I was 1v1 him, I would show him no more. Alright, so this one here is going to be our last clip, guys, and this one I'm going to be going into one of my first Atlas missions that I'm ever going to be doing. It's in a power level 1 to 3 zone in Stonewood. So this is literally the first mission that you are able to do when you get into the game like when you buy the game and you do your first storm shield defense this is the first mission it lets you do is a single atlas mission right so if people were to do that mission they were to say oh yeah this is a cool mission i want to go and do it again they go to the lobby go to the map and go pick a single atlas mission because they thought it was fun this is what you're going to run into you immediately are asked if you have a mic thinking oh okay yes I have a mic how are you we're gonna play the game we're gonna get the game done and then as soon as somebody answers and says oh yeah I have a mic hello how are you then you say oh do you wanna trade with me I have 130s first of all you're in Stonewood and you should I don't think that you should have 130s because it doesn't let me make that level but I want to trade anyways because they're saying that it's better for you. It's better if you have 130s and it's rarer. You should not carry around anything under a 106 or a 130 when you're in Stonewood. And that's the reason that you should not get out of Stonewood or Plankerton because when you get into Canny or Twine Peaks, then the zombies are just too hard. You know what I mean? Like a 130 is good for Stonewood, but for Twine Peaks and Canny Valley, you know, 130 is just not going to cut it. You're going to have to have like a like a 400 or like a 700. So, yeah, you're going to have to have 130s and 106s in order to play the game in Stonewood. 
or else you, you just can't play so in order to do that you're gonna have to trade people for weapons so that goes back to the original point just trade people and don't play the mission let the uh, other higher levels in the game that don't exactly know what they're doing yet that haven't been playing for like a year now I have myself you know if I wasn't doing this video I have almost 300 days logged in so don't you know just let those people who don't know what they're doing do the mission and then you go off and you farm because you're smart and you know exactly how to play this game they don't you know what I mean they don't know how to play the game they have not spent any time on this game put any effort into this game whatsoever and they know nothing about how to play the game so you just do what you do and uh, yeah this is what I have been shown for my first time playing the game you're supposed to trade you're supposed to ask people to trade all the time you're supposed to ask for handouts you're not supposed to do the mission under any circumstance are you supposed to pay all your attention to the mission that is never supposed to happen if you do the mission you have to trade first you have to get somebody to trade with you before you're able to do the mission so yeah guys, that's what I learned from my first time playing Fortnite. My first time ever logging in and trying to do missions, this is what I learned playing Fortnite. I am going to go ahead and end the video here because it's starting to rain and I can hear it in my mic. As you hear there, lots of thunder, lots of lightning, lots of rain. It's really loud right now, so I'm not going to continue the video, but I hope you did enjoy. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.